Joe Ripley live in Atlanta with more on today's rollout. This is phase two here, Joe. Hey, good morning, Shiva. The expanded vaccine rollout expected to speed up vaccination administration here in Georgia, especially as the state's only using about 30% of its vaccine supply. A dire dilemma. Georgia seeing more than 636,000 COVID-19 cases and 10,000 COVID-related deaths. Hospitals overrun. Wellstar's AMC and North Fulton are listed as overcrowded, while hospitals statewide are treating nearly 45,000 COVID patients per the Georgia Department of Public Health. But more help is on the way, an acceleration to Georgia's vaccination efforts. This is a massive immunization campaign. This is like we, something we've never done before. Phase 1A plus kicks off today. The expansion of eligible vaccine recipients includes adults 65 and older, law enforcement, firefighters, first responders and 911 operators. Local health departments are already setting up appointments while mass vaccination clinics are set to take place for health care workers in Gwinnett, Cobb, Fulton and DeKalb counties. The state now has the capacity to administer 11,428 doses of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines per day. That is approximately 80,000 doses a week. While Georgia has only administered 30% of its vaccine supply, immunization expert Dr. Carlos Del Rio remains cautiously optimistic. There's still a limited supply of vaccines. As we have more vaccines, we will be able to get it to more people. But at this point in time, we need to use the vaccines that we have as effectively as we can. And I think I want to see those vaccines in arms of people as soon as possible. And Georgia has nearly 1,500 vaccine providers. We do have a locator tool on 11alive.com with more information.